Now that we've covered the random position, we can go ahead and execute the behavior tree for the random cover surface area. So this starts with the same variables as we said before. We have to execute the sequence and we can also have an interruptible sequence as well. The difference is that we have to change the name, which what we had was, if we go to the bottom, we have the random cover from entity, so I'm just going to copy that over and paste that in. And I actually don't want to put in a ref point at all because we're referencing the cover surface themselves. So let's go ahead and do a TPS query as so, but we need to create an event. So when we are looking for a cover surface, we're actually looking for a new target. In order to do this, we have to type in something to wait for. So we're going to go ahead and wait for an event. So I'm going to wait for event and give it a name. And we'll call this one on new attention target. Close it out. And then our TPS query is right here. And we actually need to register a cover. So we'll do register equals cover. We're looking for that cover surface. We want to move to this cover. And what we'll do is we'll do speed of run because we want to make it faster. And we'll do an alert stance or a stance that is alerted because we're going into battle. And we'll keep the fire mode off. We'll keep the wait duration to query this or loop it to two seconds. And that will basically complete how we do a cover surface inside of our behavior tree based on the TPS query for the cover surface itself. I see a little problem here though. I need to make an equal there. And then we're all good. So I'm going to pause the video and we're going to go into the engine. We'll see exactly how we can reference a cover surface between the two factions and use the TPS query to dynamically switch between it.